This tutorial will introduce you to the statistics and the profile plot analysis tools as helpful options in comparing satellite and in-situ data. In this case we have a subset of Amerisol 2 product located in Northern Europe. To compare satellite water quality parameters with in-situ measurements, you have to import your in-situ data. Here we have a ship track as a vector file with the included information. Choose from the menu Analysis to have several analysis tools to choose from and open the statistics. It will display information about currently selected bands, like total number of pixels, minimum and maximum of the geophysical value, the mean, sigma standard deviation, the median and several percentile thresholds. The histogram as well as the thresholds of all percentiles are displayed in two diagrams. A helpful option is to compute the statistics for a single or multiple region of interest masks. There are two ways to select the mask, directly in the window or with the mask manager icon. We already created a new mask with valid LG1 pixel as our region of interest. Click refresh and a detailed analysis of our region of interest is possible. For example, here are all the valid LG1 pixels. All other pixels which were excluded by the masks are not taken into account. The accuracy of the histogram can be set automatically or manually. You can choose between 0 as 1 bin or 6 as 1 million bins. It is also possible to export the statistics as a CSV file or if the region of interest masks come from a shapefile to the original shapefile. Click the right mouse button in the histogram to open the context menu for some more options like properties, zoom in or zoom out. By clicking the right mouse button in the table you can copy your data to the clipboard. The factor data is present in your product, the profile plot is a helpful dialog to compare them to satellite data. Two modes are possible. The classic mode, relying on a geometric shape, or the correlative mode to compare satellite data to in situ data. The classic mode displays the given path lengths and pixel on the x-axis, and the y-axis is determined by the current selected band. Here we compare it with our transect, created with the line drawing tool. Standard deviation is displayed as a blue shade and it is possible to synchronize the current position by clicking into the plot. The current position is then given in the upper corner. The correlative mode is for comparing satellite data to external data. Choose your vector data source in the point data source field. and the data field. Two plots should be displayed in the chart. The values of the in situ data in red and the values of the satellite data in blue. Region of interest mask can be considered if wanted. Properties of the axis can be directly changed in the profile plot window. For example, minimum and maximum of the axis, as well as a logarithmic scale. With the option Mark Segments, the different segments are marked by shades in the background of the plot. With the option Table View, you can switch to a table view which provides information about the displayed data. With a right click, you can copy the data to a clipboard. Like in the statistic dialog, with the right mouse button click, you open the context menu for more options. Also, you can print your chart or save your chart as an image. For more information or further questions, you can visit the SNAP forum with the link below. Thank you for watching.